जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एट होम सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड दिस चैप्टर रिसोर्सेस एंड वी हैव ऑलमोस्ट डन हाफ ऑफ द चैप्टर इन द फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल दैट इज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज अ रिसोर्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड यूटिलिटी व्हाट इज वैल्यू एंड हाउ टाइम एंड टेक्नोलॉजी आर टू इंपॉर्टेंट रिसोर्सेस दैट चेंज सब्सटेंस इनटू अ रिसोर्स सो वी रिसोर्सेस एंड द रिसोर्सेस आर जनरली क्लासिफाइड इनटू नेचुरल and the human made we had also talked about natural resources and natural resources are also divided into renewable and non renewable resources and uh, renewable resources are those which get renewed or um, replenished quickly and uh, some of these are unlimited and so they are not affected by our um, human activities or by us for example wind energy and so on but careless use of uh, certain renewable resources Uh, like water soil can affect their stock and talking about the non renewable resources these are those which have a very limited stock as the name it itself tells and once the stocks are exhausted it may take thousands of years to get renewed uh, since this period is much more than the human uh, life span so such resources are considered as non renewable for example coal petroleum and so on and the distribution of natural resources depends upon physical factors like terrain climate and altitude and so the distribution of resources is unequal because these factors differ from all one place to another the next topic human resources now people can make the best use of nature to create more resources when they have the knowledge the skill and the technology to do so so a human being is the best resource if it has the knowledge and the skill that is why we consider the human being as a special resource so people are the human resources and education and health help in keeping uh, or making uh, people a valuable resource now improving the quality of people skill so that they are able to create more resources is called as human resource development next is human made resource now uh, sometimes the natural substances become resource only when the original form is to be changed for example iron ore uh, will uh, will not be a resource until people learn to extract iron from from it people use natural resource to make building uh, then bridges roads etc which are also known as human made resource technology is also a human made resource so this was about this a human made resource the next is conservation of the resources so we all know that we need to conserve the resources without it our future generation would be in trouble so using the resources carefully and giving it time to get renewed is called as resource conservation and balancing the need to use resources and also conserve them for the future is called as sustainable development there are many ways of conserving the resources every person each individual can contribute by reducing the consumption recycling and reusing the things ultimately this is going to make a difference because all our lives are linked the future of our planet and its people is linked with our ability uh, to maintain and preserve the life support system that nature provides therefore it is our duty to ensure that all uses of renewable resources are sustainable the diversity of life on the earth is conserved and the damage to the natural environmental system is minimum this is a picture how to conserve uh while uh, in a bathroom turn off the tap while brushing the teeth then ways uh, how to while cooking you should cover the vessel so that um, and it should be cooked in a pressure cooker that will reduce the amount of cooking and so on these are the various ways and the last topic is sustainable development so sustainable development is carefully utilizing the resources so that besides meeting the requirements of the present we also take care of the future generations to support and sustain our world we need to keep it as healthy as possible by protecting and sustaining the wildlife plants ecosystem habitats because all these things are connected and they each need support uh, each need uh, each other for support after all animals wouldn't survive without the right habitat and a habitat wouldn't be the same without the animals so this is uh, the end of the chapter we will be discussing about it in the live class till then jai hind